Hey guys, Rewind Mike here, and I'm back to do another pickup video now. I had a really, really, really good weekend. Um, and by really good, I mean I picked up 47 games. Um, most of them are boxed, too. That's the really, really good part, honestly. Um, I want to say more than, like, three-fourths of it is boxed, which is fantastic, honestly. Um, this kid was selling his whole collection, so, you know, <coughs> me and my one friend went to go take a look at it, and... You know, we wound up picking it up, and we wound up splitting up the lot, and, you know, he picked the game, I picked the game, he picked the game, and by the end of that, you know, we all wound up with some games. And, uh, you know, I'm here to pretty much show you guys some of the really good stuff I got now. I'm not going to be talking about every single game that I got. I'm only going to be talking about stuff that, you know, I have memories with, or, you know, who knows, maybe, maybe something that looks like it's interesting to me, or something I heard about, whatever it may be. But, uh... <laughs> So first I'm going to start off with some soft box games, which I, I, I honestly hate them, but what are you going to do, Sega decided to put games in a soft box and I got our real monsters. Um, this game's fantastic, I used to love playing it when I was younger, um, I actually have a copy of it already, loose, and I have it for the Super Nintendo also, which is above me, but I have it in box now too, so yay for that. And uh, <laughs> another game that I had already, but now I have the box for, is Sonic and Knuckles, which is actually um, one of my favorites when you attach it to Sonic 3. Not only because, you know, it's awesome, but there are so many more stages. I think it's like 14 stages all together, and it's just, it's a really good experience, and honestly, I love playing through it. It's so much fun to try to get all the emeralds and, uh, you know, get Super Sonic and just basically try to speed through the game. But, uh, alright, so next we have here... Um, what is this? Desert Demolition, starring Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote. Now, I've actually never played this. Um, I have played it on the Super Nintendo, though, again, and I do love that game. So, if, if it's any like this, anything like the Super Nintendo version, it's probably a lot of fun. Uh, eh. Next game I got is Bubsy. You all know Bubsy the Bobcat. I don't know. It can be fun, you know, sometimes, but it's not... It's not the greatest game, and it's definitely not, like, a go-to game for me, either. Um, next game I got is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers The Movie, which is fucking awesome. I actually got this a little while ago, but I don't think I showed it, so I figured I'd show it to you now. Yeah. Um, fantastic beat-em-up on the Sega Genesis. I, it's really good. I had to get it regardless of the price. It does have, a a little rip in the corner right there and stuff like that so the flap is speaking and, and, and that's primarily why I hate the cardboard boxes for the Sega <sighs> alright so we're gonna step away from Sega here for a second and go to another soft box game I got Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages now um it's only the box that I got it has the manual and the little insert also but I already own the cartridge but I got the box and everything else for five dollars so that was awesome, and I'm one step closer to a complete inbox Legend of Zelda collection. Uh, oh yeah, and one more last softbox game here, Jurassic Park for Super Nintendo. Um, it's all right. I, I really don't have too much to say about it because it is very hard for me and it's very confusing. I actually enjoy the NES version more than I enjoy this one, oddly enough. Maybe it's not odd. Maybe some of you guys are the same. Alright, so next we have The Last Battle. Um, again, I've never played this. I don't really have much to say about it, but, uh, you know, it does look like Altered Beast, so it's probably going to be a fucking really good time. Another game I got is Shakan or Chakan, Shaka Khan, The Forever Man. Um, now again, I've already had this, but, you know, I got, I finally got the box for it, so that's awesome. It's a really fun game, super, super hard, man. Oh my god, very confusing too, you know, needless to say. Um, next two games I got here, Mortal Kombat 1 and Mortal Kombat 3. Um, I don't know, it's Mortal Kombat. You fight, you rip people's heads off. It's on the Sega Genesis, so there's blood. <laughs> Alright, uh, where's the other one to this? I'll just present them both at the same time. Alright, so here I got Home Alone 1 and Home Alone 2. Um, now I've played this, but I believe I played this on the Nintendo, I want to say? Yeah, I've played this on the Nintendo, so, you know, again, it's an okay game. Nothing to really write home about. But, actually, this one looks significantly different, so it might not be the same game. 
same thing with this. I've never, I've never played this, so I'm very, very interested because I've never even seen them, nor did I know that they existed. Well, at least the first one, I didn't know that existed. All right. Next up, we got another set of games: Echo the Dolphin One and Two. This is a double. This one is not. Um, I never really got too much into Echo the Dolphin: the Tides of Time, but the first one, I actually do enjoy this. Oddly enough, the music is very serene and. Uh, I actually prefer to use the soundtrack when I write, you know, any sort of script or anything like that, you know? So, I have a lot of really fond memories with Echo the Dolphin, despite what other people's memories might be with that really hard game and very confusing game also. Um, I'm gonna bounce around here, go to another system. Alright, so I got uh, Parlor Games for the Master System. I've already got it, but it's a variant cover, so yay for that! Um, I thought this was going to be a lot better, but it's not. I got Psycho Fox. You know, I really... Hearing that this was made by the same people who made Decap Attack, which is right here, right there, which is one of my favorite games for the Sega Genesis, I really thought that Psycho Fox would be a little bit better, and it, it has the potential, but the only problem is, is there's no momentum building. So, like, when you stop to, like, jump over a gap and there's water, and then you try to rebuild that, you know, speed up, it, it's, like, almost impossible, so you end up falling and dying every time. And I got Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap. This game's fucking awesome. Um, I've, I was playing it for a little bit, you know, earlier today. I actually woke up out of bed and popped it into the Master System and was playing it. And I gotta say, it's a lot of fucking fun. It's really cool. It's got a, it's got like a password save system and stuff like that. Because it's, it's kind of like the Legend of, you know, Adventures of Link, whatever. So I was definitely enjoying that. Um... I got Aladdin, fantastic game on the fucking Genesis. I have a lot of memories of that. Actually, the day it came out, I remember uh, one of my sister's friends picked it up and was at his house. And yeah, anyway, um, Pac-Man 2, the new adventures. I don't know. Don't really care about that one so much. I got uh, Pink Goes to Hollywood. Don't know what it is. It's a platformer, though, so I'm interested. And I love the Pink Panther, so... That's always awesome. And then, <laughs> I was really happy to add this back to my collection, and it's fucking Dick Tracy, man. I mean, this is one of the greatest games on the Sega Genesis, just because I said so. Yeah, that's pretty much why. It's a lot of fun, and it, as hard as it can be at times, it's it's not that hard. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's, it's more of a game of patience than anything. Um... Next up, we got Ren and Stimpy, Stimpy's Invention, another just fantastic game on the Sega Genesis. This was not available on any other console either, so that was very confusing because it's such a such a good game, and most of the Super Nintendo uh, Ren and Stimpy games are just straight lacking. All right, so next up we got Lotus 2. Now Lotus Turbo Challenge 1, again one of my favorite games on the Sega Genesis. I put so much time into it, and uh, the racing is really fun. It's enjoyable. Uh, it looks really nice. The music is, you know, quite good. And uh, it, it's funny, too, because every time you press the C button, the dude's like, yeehaw! So, there's that. <laughs> Alright, so next I'm gonna literally run through these games like water. I got Snake's Revenge. I don't know what this is. I got Thundercade. Didn't even know it was a game, so that's cool. I'm interested to check that out. This is uh, the good score out of the Nintendo games I got is Fantasy Zone. Really happy to add that to the collection, especially since I don't have it for the Master System. Alright, so here we got the triple pack of Mario, Duck Hunt, and World, whatever World Class Meat, whatever you want to call it. Um, I actually have fun with World Class Meat. I've, I've actually uh, got, you know, quite quite a lot of burns on the inside of my thumb from playing that, so. Uh, Bart vs. the Space Mutants. Didn't own that, now I have all the Simpsons games. Uh, Hogan's Alley. I actually surprisingly didn't have this yet. And then Gotcha. Now Hogan's Alley and Gotcha are actually both light gun games, so I can only play those in my bedroom with my tube TV. Alright, so we got another stack of games here. And, uh, you know what? Seventeen more games. You know what, guys? I'm gonna actually split this video up into two parts so you know that was the first part of my pickup videos from this weekend uh, I will be working on the other one tomorrow I'm not gonna do that tonight but you know I will upload this one tomorrow when I get home from work hopefully 
tomorrow will be Monday. We'll see what happens. And then, um, you know, hopefully I'll have the next video up on Wednesday because I have off, so I should be able to, you know, put some stuff together. Uh, I've been working on a script recently, you know, um, it's a collab collaboration with another channel that, you know, I, I, I've been watching for a while and another channel that I also support. So, you know, you know, keep your eyes out for that, guys, because it should be really good. I've been working really hard on it. Again, I, I came up with another formula for my script writing that allows me to speak a little bit more loosely as opposed to just speaking by what the script says all the time that I wrote. Um... So I'm, I'm kind of curious how that's going to play out and stuff, but, you know, we'll see. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys really enjoyed. You know, I'll leave a couple of links down below to other channels that I support. Please go check those guys out. They're all fucking awesome, and I fucking love this. So, you know, just go check them out, please. And, uh, you know, if you like this video, definitely hit the like button. Give me a little subscribe down wherever the subscribe button is. And uh, I'm Rewind Mike, guys. Thanks a lot for watching.